Welcome back, Carters, to Ruby Breaks Baseball. Of course, it's Wednesday, and that means it's a non-sports edition of card opening. And today we have Douglas Adams, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Cards with a Z. The Hitchhikers to the Guide trading cards are collector's cards which were released in 1994 by Cards. They feature art from and inspired by the comic book series originally published in 1993, which itself was inspired by the original Hitchhiker series by Douglas Adams. In total, there are 100 standard cards, including four Tech Chrome cards, two hologram cards, three prototype promos, and an unknown amount of autographed cards signed by Douglas Adams. There was only one autograph card per four cases of card packs. Each card was signed on the back and all the cards were different base cards from the set. So I don't think they were cards different from the base. I think they were different base cards randomly signed. If you're following me here. We did do a little math and based on our 10 boxes per case, um, these were, the autographs would be one in 800 and in a 12 case box, um, these would be, autographs would be one in 880. So we're not looking for an autograph today. I do love Douglas Adams. I do love the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. And I am very happy to open these today in lieu of the image product that we were going to open. But we will be back with image uh, likely next Wednesday. So um, we have a pretty beautiful box here. It does have a little bit of box damage. Probably difficult to see. But... That's why this is my most damaged box of this product, and that's why we're going to open this here today. I'm saving the better boxes. If it's not broke, let's break it. Um, I did read from the hitchhikersfandom.com slash wiki, and I will post that link up in the comments so that we can give credit to the original um, to, the, to where this information came from that I read from today. I did not write that. I could write about Douglas Adams. Um, I have an affinity for him and his work, and I would really love an autograph from, for him. These products are, are not being broke for anybody. This is a personal opening for myself. I do have more of this product, so if anybody is interested in inquiring Acquiring some Douglas Adams Hitchhikers to the Guide trading cards by cards, then you should definitely hit me up. And you can also find this product on eBay. It is fairly reasonably priced. Reasonably priced. I thought it was nice, a good price point. And um, you can find that, um, yeah, on eBay. So I do have some thoughts. I did open a pack of these. And I do have some thoughts, but let's get into start. Let's start breaking them, and um, and go from there. Do we have pack odds? Um, it doesn't look like there are some pack odds, but let's see. What we got so it doesn't look like um, pack odds. It looks like they had a some other stuff that you could send off for back in the day. And uh, I'm assuming that that is closed by now. So let's go ahead and start breaking these packs. Let me scoot these over to the edge. And so we can see. Okay, these are all images from the comic book or inspired by the comic book. One of the things I noticed when I started opening this product was that 
there's no writing on the front. We don't know which card this goes to. Everything is on the back. So we will not be going through the backs of all these cards. So it's going to be a lot of card art. Um, believe it or not, there's Ford and there's Author. Not exactly what I expect. I believe that's Marvin the robot there with Trillion, but I could be wrong. There's another Ford. There's Author and I believe see yeah I think that is the Vergon I believe yeah that's that's what the Vergons look like in the comic obviously that's pushing the hype the heart of gold hyper what is that drive button the forget the name of it right now but that's the heart of gold that's the button oh there we got some is this the um, G Gavant. There's a uh, Ford, an author, and um, Vibelbrox, the president of the universe. Voted the worst dressed sentient being. How many years in a row? <laughs> Worst dress sentient being. Sentient, sentient being. Am I saying that right? I feel like I am, but uh, uh, there's a Virgon uh, constructor fleet or deconstructor fleet. It's a constructor, right? Yeah, constructor fleet. This is actually one of my favorite cards in this set. I actually like this a lot. Um, trillion. Over there, at Marvin in the back, and uh, El Presidente, both his heads sitting right there. This looks like this is Magafia on Magafia. Um, I couldn't tell you what this is from. I know who it is, but uh, and this looks like this is Magafia as well. Looks like this is on the building floor of the construction wing of Magrafia. Uh, <laughs> Marvin at the beach is pretty funny to me. Oh man, I, I, I don't remember. I don't remember this in the story, so, but it's been a while since I've read them, so hey. And then we got a little, I don't remember this as either. To be honest. Oh, this is from um, this is from one of the further the later. This isn't from the first book. This is from uh, like the second or third book, I believe. And the, how those translate in the comics, I don't remember. I just got the trade. I didn't do the individual issues, and I wanted to have the trade available to show you, but of course. Um, everything is is stored but not cataloged so it's hard to find stuff um, here's our checklist and this goes from card 54 to 99 and that is card 100 and it neglects to count itself <laughs> oh that's hilarious it doesn't count itself I'm thinking that's Trillion, yeah. Zaphod. I don't know why I haven't said Zaphod yet. I just keep saying Beetle, Beetle Brox. Zaphod is the president, of course. Oh, yeah. This looks like right when they came across uh, on board the Vergon ship. I'm not exactly remember this as well, but it's it looks funny. Oh, yeah. We know who this is. 
He's a descendant of Genghis Kong, but he's not a very willful man, is he? There we go. Author in front of the bulldozers. And as you say, the mud. Whoops. Looks like Ford's having a damn good time there. Looks like he's had some kind of alcohol. Maybe a gargle blaster. What is it called? Gargle blaster. There's the crew. Oh, this card's cool. This is—is is this the party? This is interesting. It's not an insert. It's just a regular card. Uh, at last, I got her to myself. I guess I like the tones of that card since everything's in color in this set. This card is very striking. It's like they're going to see deep thought there. So it's like an inspired art inspired card with author and the mice and the worlds. I'm not sure how I feel about these this version of Marvin the robot. Um, he has a uh, personality and I would argue that it's not a great personality. Another checklist. Here's Arthur and Ford on the way to the airlock. Oh, this is cool. I love I love the uh, the mice with the 42 up there. I, this is a I like this card a lot. I might not even store this with the rest of them. I might put this on display maybe in my office. I do like that card. I do like the number 42. Uh, you have Jackie Robinson, you have the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Al Galaxy, and you have the ultimate question. And sometimes I think answers are easy. I, I just think we don't know, we're not asking the right questions or we don't know what question we're trying to ask. So um, I find that whole thing kind of poignant with Douglas Adams. I like this card a lot too. Author and Ford in space, uh, getting ready to be picked up by the Heart of Gold. The Improbable Probability Drive, I believe, is the button. Uh, here is the uh, the entry in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy uh, book for Earth, and. Um, mm, uh, it used to be, this is the old entry, it was harmless, and um, through the good work of Ford Prefect, uh, it was um, updated to mostly harmless. Here's our first repeat card, I believe. There we go, pints at lunch. Some pints of beer. There's another repeat. Another repeat, the improbable probability drive. That's the card we're talking about. And I do like the colors on this card a lot. And that pack was a total repeat. So I, I guess we can see what the coalition is going to be like on this. See, there are 24 packs with how many cards per pack? I'll we'll just have to count them out. I think eight. So I guess we're looking at almost two sets in this box almost not guaranteed two sets not guaranteed one set but likely one set and almost two sets we're going to see some more repeats i don't remember this one but it doesn't mean we haven't seen it i do remember that one i do remember this one so that means we probably did see that first card and there's a new one i think to i think that one's new to us right there So my thoughts, I, I like a lot these cards a lot. I do think that they could have had some kind of border. Um, it didn't have to be a full border. It could be a partial border. It could just be something. I feel like they are missing something uh, graphically. 
that ties them all in together a little more uh, concisely, uh, makes them more of a unit, makes them, that binds them a little bit more than they are. Oh, there's our well. Poor guy. He had so little time to consider life. A very depressing thing happened to me on the way to the Millie, Millie Ways. Aw, oh, poor robot. Poor robot. They're heading to the, uh, that card was, they're heading to the restaurant at the end of the earth. Here's another repeat. I think this is the third one on that one. Two or three. This is definitely three here. There's the beers again. And so it looks like it's going to be hard to put together two sets. And it might be hard to put together uh, one set if we're going to have more than two repeats of a card. And we are seeing some of these cards the third time. So it might not be guaranteed to pull a set today. Here we go, Amagraphia again. Seeing some repeats. So this is a heavy repeat product, it looks like to me. So at this rate, we might end up with four or five of a couple cards, which really means we're not going to complete this set today. I do have more at home. Plus we can give some cards away or sell some cards or you just let me know what you want to do and we'll hook that up. No one ever lets me know so no one's ever interested in these cards. <laughs> Maybe this is just something I do for myself in the end. Uh, Marvin at the beach. <laughs> Again, here we go. We're getting into some new cards we haven't seen. Oh yeah, he's having what could be considered tea. <laughs> Uh, at the bar on earth here is another one of those um, is it Sepapia cards that I like I like I like how they look in this set and uh, looks like they're having lunch there Zephod. It's like an art card. The art cards seem to be signed. Uh, well, not signed, signed, but they have the artist on the bottom here. So I'm, I'm thinking those are the art cards, and the rest of them are from the comic. We did find out that Hulu is going to have a new series for Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in uh, late 20. 21 or early 2022 and apparently it's gone so well they've already picked up the second season even though we haven't even seen anything so whatever footage has come out of that so far uh, has been promising I guess and I do not know if it's live action or cartoon um, it is something I plan to look into but uh, obviously I haven't looked into it yet um, Got a lot going on. There's one. There's a first card that's had some damage from those that box. It's just a little bit of a bump there. Uh, it's the first damage I've noticed. So, and that's exactly why I wanted to open this box because it did have a little bit of damage. But it doesn't look like it's too too much. This is one of the art cards. I don't remember what this is, but it's very interesting to me. So I think what I'm seeing here is I just need to go back and read the books and then find the comic series and read the comic series uh, so that I can remember all these great characters and all these great moments. It looks like the plans to destroy Earth to put in a hyper spaceway. Is it a bypass? Hyper bypass, I believe. You see? You see how rusty I am, folks? 
We haven't found any of the inserts yet. Um, I was I wasn't literally looking for an autograph today, and we didn't. We're not even looking at the backs because these are randomly autographed. So we'll have to go to the backs quickly um, to see if we got an autograph because we've actually. In theory, we could have had an autograph by this point. I don't, there's no reason to suspect that to be the case, but there could be. I'm gonna put this one in the, off pardon me, I'm gonna put this one in the office too. Nice little things to have in the office. They don't take up much space. It's nice. Right, Magrathias again. Looks like we're raining donuts here. I'm gonna tell you, I don't know what's going on. I. Thought I was a big fan. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Oh, I thought I was a big fan. Read all these books. Hate the movie. I love the movie, but I hate the movie. I don't think they did a good job. I like the original BBC series. I like the radio series. I like, I like the comics. But I don't remember some of these things. Mm, poor well. It's kind of graphic, right? I don't think we needed that card. Here's a sec. This card's funny. It doesn't even seem like Hitchhiker's Guide to me. It just seems like something funny. Uh-oh, somebody's getting read poetry. <laughs> the Virgon Poets, one of my fantasy baseball teams, did not have a good year this year. The Poets are usually very competitive. Bureaucratic, but competitive. That's how I would explain my team. They will have a, a beer at the end, but they always um, they always make sure they file their paperwork in advance to requisition that beer. But um bum bum. Of course, my major issue with the movie. This is hilarious. This card is great. Uh, is the fact that Arthur is the only person who's never been to space in, in once they're in space, his, his first time in space. And he is driving a ship and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, and some of the crazy stuff's okay, but, but driving a spaceship when you're the only person who's never, I mean, I guess it's funny, like, even the guys who've been in space don't know how to drive a spaceship, but I have some problems with that movie, and I've said it before. I'll say it again. I think whoever did the screenplay for, oh, that Will Ferrell movie with the watch, what is that, Stranger Than Fiction, uh, was way closer to the ideals and um, the humor of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy than the actual movie was. So I hope that someone from that series, from that movie, um, works on the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Hulu series. That would be excellent in my eyes. If they could bring some of that flavor over. So here's my second of the 42 card, which is great because I can have one in the set and one on display. And we're... About three quarters of the way done with this. Uh, we haven't pulled any, any, any uh, Trek Chrome cards. We haven't pulled any promo cards. 
and autographs we don't know because they're on the back there's nothing identifying the card except for the autograph on the back so we will have to go through that I'll do that off screen if we find anything we'll definitely share that I don't think I've seen this one yet seen a lot of these cards but I don't remember that one but I do remember that one so maybe I just don't remember that one card there I do not believe oh there is a tech chrome and it is just a, an image um, there was a card with the same image but it's a tech chrome it is different and that's h1 that's our first insert and it looks weird it looks like it's got something weird on it but that's underneath so that's just the card itself um, I'm not quite impressed with the tech chrome card I gotta think this was 1993 when this was made and put out in 1994 so maybe I, I don't think I don't know maybe this is the early part of it I just don't think that's a great card honestly I mean, I wanted to collect the set, but, and I want to collect those, but yeah, I'm not quite impressed with that card. Hopefully, if we get, we're not going to get another Tech Chrome today, but hopefully any other Tech Chromes we see look a little better than that. At the right angle, it's really nice, but that angle was not good. Something was wrong with that angle, I think. There's another, nope, we've seen this card before. I believe we've seen this one. Yeah. I recognize this coalition right here. Well, if we're gonna have two of these, and that's going in my office pile. Well, I'm gonna have a home pile and an office pile. This is a funny card. I like how the characters are drawn. It's an art card. I love it. This is a card I don't believe we've seen yet. Yep. There's Zaphod with one head walking away with Trillian at the party, I believe. Oh, yeah. We've met before, haven't we? Oh, these are some cards we have not seen. We've seen that one and that one, but we did get a couple fresh, fresh, freshies in that pack. A freshie is a is a non-dupe when you get towards the end of a of an opening of a break or an opening. A fresh card you haven't seen is a freshie. I made it up. It could have been something that was already there, but I just feel like I made it up. That is a fun card, actually. I like that card a lot. Oh yeah. The shootout. Just passing through these since we've seen them all before. Oh, Harmless can go in the work pile now. And we are, are these are the last few packs here. There we go, that's, we've seen that one. Don't think we've seen this one. Don't believe that one. So we are getting, still getting some cards here. So I don't believe we'll get the set. Because we still are seeing a lot of repeats. Okay, final two packs coming up. Thank you for joining us here on Ruby Breaks Baseball, Wednesday edition, non-sports break. Today we had the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy trading cards with a Z. These are cards from the comic and inspired by the comic. So no live action photos or, you know, photos or shots from the live action movie or series. 
just uh, animation and I mean um, sorry not animation um, cartooning illustrations and we will look for um, the autographs off campus off campus off camera and if we do find anything there I will definitely show you because I'll be very excited and I'll want to share I do not know I still don't know what this is I do not know what this is and it makes me feel like a bad fan for not knowing what that is there goes the heart of gold that's the answer all right, thank you so much for joining us. If there is any surprises, uh, we'll be right back. But otherwise, thank you for joining Ruby Breaks Baseball. See you on Friday for another installment of Yelp Friday. Good day.